Hi, I'm Nick from Nick the Fridge. Good to Hi, meet you. Nick Gelman. Very nice to meet you. Actually, we should have called this Nick the Fridge at this point. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Definitely. So, I've got some questions of you. Uh, for Ravnica, yes. there was a big event last year, uh, and you were part of uh, the whole you know, storyline. The crossover of Dungeons & Dragons, well, what was your exact involvement with that? So that was already in flight before I came on board at Wizards. Um, and uh, there were... But most of the Ravnica world building team are involved in, in creating that book. So for me, it was more a question of actually leaning on it as a resource for story more than anything else. So um, when we do Ravnica story, we get we get requests for, well, is there a map of the 10th district, that kind of thing. And until the, we did the D&D book, there, there, there was a concept for it, but a looser one than it actually appeared in the book. So we've been leaning on the book, actually, uh, for reference for authors when they need it, um, but a lot of that comes from, I, I think a lot of people aren't aware how much world building goes into a magic plane before it is ever seen by anybody, so a lot of that book uh, already existed uh, in, in terms of the material that was in it, uh, it had been created by the Ravnica world building team, and then it was kind of put into Dungeons & Dragons format, and obviously that involved a lot of work, amazing work from the Dungeons & Dragons team, in terms of uh, refining it for their own needs, and in terms of converting it into use for Dungeons & Dragons, and putting it into Dungeons & Dragons terms, um, as well as a bunch of new world building, because stuff hadn't been fleshed out in the way that Dungeons & Dragons are. Awesome. Um, were any of the resources utilized by Greg Weissman in his War of the Spark novel? Yeah, the, like the map of the 10th district. For example. I mean, we're, we're careful to make sure that, 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 that even though it is a crossover product, like it's technically not magic canon, but there are certain things that we do lean on, like the, like the map is very useful. For and do you feel that maybe some characters developed for the campaign would make an appearance in maybe future novels by you or novels you oversee? Uh, yeah, possibly. Um, possibly. I think... The ones that we have been looking at were characters that, that were actually transferred the other way. So more minor characters that already existed in Magic and then were fleshed out in the D and D book. Um, but, uh, but yeah, sure. I mean, it's all it's all great. Now, I, I loved your work with Dark Horse Publishing. Uh, Thank you very much. And uh, I'm still hoping that the Spielberg project, you know, comes out. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> Do you uh, have any other plans for independent uh, writing? Yeah. No, I mean, I, I, this is this is my whole thing right now, day and night. So uh, it's, it's an enormous amount of work and an enormous amount of responsibility. So it's just that's what I'm focused on for sure. Yeah. Well, it's coming out amazing, and it shows your devotion and your dedication to it. it, it, it it's, it's, that's very you're, kind of you. You're, you're fleshing out a world that you know, Richard Garfield gave us long ago, and you've, you've made it your own and everyone else's. And Yeah, I mean, I I'm really, happy. honestly, just, I, I mean, I'm... I'm finding the people who are doing that you know I, 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 uh, I I'm coordinating things but really it's it's a lot of amazing writers a lot of a, for, like we, we now have incredible fantasy authors working on the property both Greg Wiseman and him, but also for our movie fiction people like Kate Elliott uh, we've got Django Wexler doing some other stories for Joe Ray um, we had Martha Wells kick off that whole new fiction program. Uh, she obviously just won the Hugo. So there's a, there's a there's a you know we have an incredible array of authors supporting us, and of course like an amazing internal team of wizards in the in the world building and the card development department, uh, and uh, and also on the franchise team who are just generating a staggering amount of awesome materials. So, and, and I'm looking forward to more and more. Now before they stop me. Uh, I got this little invite. What can yeah. you tell me about this? I can tell you nothing about that, but Mark Rosewater is looking forward to telling everybody more on Saturday at his panel. At what time is the panel? I think it's at 6.30. Yeah, 6.30. All right, you heard it here first. Sort of. <laughs>